In this video, we'll be going through how I transformed my old French high school notes from this to this. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. I've kept these for years with the faith that one day I would find a way to preserve them. They're old and fragile and I was growing tired of trying to fight for their survival. So when we created our paperless ex-minimalist digital notebook, I could finally rewrite my French notes. And in this video, I will be walking you through why this digital notebook was perfect for that and my note-taking process in general. I prefer all my notes handwritten for several reasons, which is a topic for another video. My old French notes have a contents page. It's difficult to see now because the ink is all faded, but it's there. This is just another reason to start taking digital notes, their durability. Ink fades and paper tears, your notes become fragile and they can easily get lost. Am I the only one who likes my notes indestructible? With vector ink that doesn't fade and multiple backups in the cloud. Digital note taking starting to sound attractive. My contents have several colors so I can tell apart different topics. I group these topics because one, some of them are related. Two, these topics were very short. Sometimes they don't even fill up a whole page and I thought it made sense to just group them because this digital notebook only has 21 topic pages and I didn't want to use multiple notebooks for just my French notes. So I wanted to make sure that they all fit into this notebook. Even though they're grouped, they're still very easy to find because they're very short notes. So that's not really a problem. It would be if they were a bit longer. My notes have several handouts that didn't make sense writing out. So I scanned those in notability and saved most of them as images so I could add them to topic pages. I did that because I wanted to still be able to navigate from topic pages that have my scans. I have added a few that are PDFs as well. I might redo these, type them out, but um, I'm only going to do that if I have time. So far, they're preserved, so I'm sort of happy with that. But the faded ink and the light print is bothering me sometimes, so I might just come back and fix that. And if I do, I'll let you guys know. Black is my primary ink color. It's my go-to color for all my notes. I then use blue for notes that I need to pay a bit more attention to. So anything that I wanted to pop out of the page, I made sure I use blue for that. Or for all my French sentences, I used pink. It's bright and easy to tell apart from all the other ink around it, which highlights the French sentences for me and they pop out of the page. Red works as well, but I tend to not like that color. I'm not inclined to using red, even though it sort of does the same thing. Most of the topics took up a page. I had to move all the non-topic pages to the end of the notebook, which was very painful because I did these before Notability supported multiple page selection. I am happy we finally have that feature in the application though. The biggest part of a new language, much bigger than grammar notes, is the vocabulary. In my old notes, I simply divided my page into two and wrote my French words in one column and English ones in the other. To immortalize my vocabulary, I used Kyoko flashcards and it's perfect for what I need. Whenever I have some free time, I'm writing my French vocab. Kyoko flashcards is very simple to use and that makes it perfect for my needs. I have created a French folder and in that folder, I have grouped my vocabulary into small groups of maximum 36 words. I want to make sure the groups are small to make them easy to learn. This will guarantee that I finish all the words in a group when I start a studying session, for example. I'm writing this in pencil. The pencil tool is always my favorite tool in a note-taking app, but it never made sense writing notes in pencil. Even though it's a digital pencil, I still feel like it's not permanent, which is very weird. It's a very strange feeling. But these flashcards are just simple words and my brain somehow accepted that I can write them in pencil. So I did. At this point, I'm not yet revising them. I am trying very hard to get them out of my old notebook onto my iPad as fast as I can. 
And that is how I have transformed my French notes. I have used two applications to do it, QRC flashcards and Notability. I will probably be doing this for other subjects too. Chemistry, biology, histology. I think I have geography as well. And knowing me, I'm probably going to write them all. I might of course share them with you guys if you're interested. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what other videos you'd like us to cover on this channel. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.